Only on two tonight, vandals target Tomball High School, spray painting vulgar comments and pictures all over the campus, including on the statue of the school mascot. Our Jonathan Martinez live tonight outside the school with this end of school year mess. Jonathan? Yeah, Dominique, the good news is all of that mess has since been cleaned up. The evidence just behind us here, that cougar you were just referring to. The good news is it is all silvered now. Less than 24 hours ago, it was practically all blue. The district does not know if this was some sort of prank or maybe even a rivalry with another high school. But what they do know is that it's vandalism all the same. It may be the end of the school year, but a fresh coat of paint is already going up on the Tomball High School baseball field. All of it to cover up the ugly mess made overnight by a group of vandals. Disappointing. It's extremely disappointing that somebody would do that where that's a place that kids go. The district says a group of about six hit the school around midnight, vandalizing multiple areas across the campus. That includes spray painting, vulgar and crude comments, and even obscene pictures. That's total vandalism. That's spray paint. That's vandalism. If you were to sit there and go spray paint anything in the city of Houston, you're going to go to jail for it. I don't know where kids are going these days and where they're getting their actions from. Even a statue of the school's mascot out in front proving another casualty covered in blue paint. Vandalism is vandalism, whether it's a prank, whether it's a rivalry, and especially if it's if it's obscene where other kids are going to see it. What the vandals probably weren't counting on, security cameras catching them in the act. The district says it's now reviewing footage and working with the Tomball Police Department to catch up with those responsible. All the while, crews with the district continued their work to get it all clean. Whoever did it needs to be accountable for it. Every choice you make has consequences, and that's what life's about, is learning to accept the consequences for your actions. And we are still hoping to get our hands on that surveillance video, at least maybe some still photos. Once we do, we will be certainly putting it on click2houston.com for a better look. Of course, if you know anything about this case, you're urged to contact the Tomball Police Department. We are reporting live tonight from Tomball. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.